Yo, what's happening? So it's your boy Chance Jolivet, aka Smooth, back with another video. So tonight what we're talking about, Power Book 3, Raising Canaan, Season 3, Episode 7, where all are guilty. So let's get into tonight's episode, man. So another banger. Things are starting to heat up a little bit, man. The, it was a slow burn, but hey, it, the, the, the meat is marinating and stuff. It's about to fall off the bone and stuff. Pause. But, uh, is is it's starting to starting to become interesting uh or unique man i was watching this episode and i i know we unique has been said that he did and stuff man they they all saying he did he said he did on social media and stuff man for some reason i'm watching this episode and it just hit me like maybe towards the end of the episode i'm like i feel like he going to pop up at some point man like maybe not pop up but I feel like maybe at the end of the se end of the season, like the season finale on the end credits or something, they might show him like in like somebody find him in the woods or something, man. And so maybe they give like a glimmer to maybe he can come back. I could be wrong. I'm probably gonna be wrong. But I just feel like because they haven't had any funerals or anything, man. They haven't had a funeral, they haven't recovered the body. Like that's odd. Like, cause it was at the dump or whatever, man. It was, it was, uh, down a coolie or something. Man, somebody would have found the body. So I'm just like, they ain't got no body. Well, I, mm, I, don't, I don't know. In, in, it's been a while that has passed. So I'm just, mm, I don't know. But anyways, let's get into this episode. And speaking of unique, his punk ass brother. So this nigga, uh, this nigga Ronnie. Jack up the white boy. He jack up Paul. He go grab him. He bring him to Canaan apartment and stuff. He's intimidating him. And Paul messed up last episode, man. Because he, he like, uh, yo, what if I call the cops? Yo, he shouldn't have never said that. Now Ronnie is in the picture and stuff. And he like, yo, you shouldn't have never, never spoke about no cops. I'll never. <laughs> and then messed up things. That Famous comes up. And he just trying to get his stuff, man. Famous just trying to get up out of there. And he walks into World War Three and stuff, and it's like, damn, uh, I can go. No, you can stay right here. And so he intimidating the homeboy, man, the white boy, and pissed all on himself and everything, man. So they're making this brother scarier and scarier. And he's, he's like, I heard you like to talk. And so he on Famous Top, and he like, uh, basically threatening Famous to kill him and stuff. And uh, Kane and kind of. Kind of saves him a little bit. He like, uh, it's all good. He talks, but he don't say everything. And if he does, I'll take care of him myself. So, he like, in a way, he's like, man, he, he good, man. He good. I, I'll handle it myself if he does fall out of line. So, Kanan don't necessarily fuck with Famous right now. But he don't want Ronnie to kill him and stuff, man. It ain't that serious. Rock is trying to build her empire up. So that is a thread on this episode. Like she uh messing with the with the people that Unique was messing with. So she just trying to pick up the pieces. Uh they don't want to get in business because they like, well, Unique is gone. The dealers that we had with him are dead as well. And she like, look, I'm not unique. My visions are different. She got a bigger mind frame than all of them. Like Rock is the real hustler out of everybody. Like out of out of Ronnie and Canaan and Unique and them, she thinks bigger. Like they thinking about one little situation, one corner, one block, one uh, Chinese spot or something. She wants like chains. She want to be like Rick Ross and Wingstop. She want a bunch of Wingstop. She don't want just one. So uh, I ain't mad at Rock and Death since, man. Like when it comes to getting paper, they ain't fucking with Rock. Rock got some, some messed up shit with her, but it's it's probably it's a product of the game. Like, you got to be hard. You got to be able to make the hard decisions and stuff. If you want to be, you're going to be a shark in the game. Or you're going to get ate up, especially being a female. So, I ain't capping for the shit that Rockton did. But, there's a method to her madness, man. There's reasons why she probably did certain things. Uh, Gerald down bad, dog. Um, this nigga, no way I ain't going to get that. We ain't going to get that yet. Marvin is on the detective's radar. Marvin is on the detective's radar, man. And Howard is trying to cover up a little bit as much as he can. 
scrap mama shows up. So Howard tries to run interference and he like, uh, yo, you, you, you can talk to this detective right here, man. I'm going to go, go uh, get him. Uh, this is this woman that's always talking about parking tickets and stuff. So he run a little interference and he gets her to tell uh, tell everything, uh, bear her, her heart to him. And so he's going to bring this information back to Rock and all them, man. And she she just playing, playing out, man. It was Lou. It was Lou. He came and he told me this and that. Oh, he was drunk or whatever. So he trying to like cover it up a little bit. But he going to relay this information back to Rock and them. And it's not going to be good. Like Lou is Lou really messed up last episode, man. Like I know he wants to clear his conscience and all that and stuff, man. But he... Now he super fucked up. Uh but in, back to Gerald. Gerald down bad, man. Whenever whenever uh Marvin has to come to you and kind of tell you how to be a better father and stuff, you know you done messed up. Like homeboy's getting high, man. He left the, the kids in the uh he left the kids in the car in the cold and stuff, man. Like he got some some major problems, man. So but Marvin is He's, he's changed a lot, man. Like, he still catch a body and stuff like that. But in certain situations, like, he's becoming a better human being. Like, it's hard to say you're a better human being when you're still killing people and stuff like that. But his character has changed a lot since the show started. Butter finally got a little gig. So they getting their stuff together. Like, uh, homegirl Crystal is still running at everybody and stuff. She's still the bitch of the group and, and all that. Like, it's... There's some bull-ish going on with them. But I don't think Butter is going to last too, too long. It don't seem like it. Howard tells Rock about Lou. So I already he said that like he was going to go back. And we we can go back to that or uh, catch that up later on. Or something. It's, it's not nothing nothing too big. Um, Juke still fucking with the military, man. Like, But it, it is smart to have a backup plan. But it seems like there's not a backup plan. It's like a... I don't know, one A and one B. But she she got the group and you would think that would be where her whole mind frame would be. But she still I guess she's just trying to get away by any means necessary. Like she really like uh she a hustler in a different means of the word. Like she ain't selling no dope or nothing. She trying to get through like legitly and legitimately and stuff like that. Like she wants better for herself. And you can't be mad at her for that, man. Crystal is flirting with Kanan and stuff, man. We see homegirl, Aisha. I, she might be bulimic or something. I would think that, that maybe she was pregnant. But then I'm like, I don't know. Her and Kanan didn't do anything. And I don't know if she had another dude before or anything. But I'm thinking she might be bulimic or something. Uh, anorexic or what, whatever it is. I think bulimic is the word. But I think that might be her thing, why she be throwing up and stuff. She got an anxiety and she feel like she's not worth worthy like the other girls and stuff. So I think that's that's her problem. Uh, Rock is getting her shit together. She moving through the restaurants and stuff. Like I already said, like she trying to run chains and stuff. So she's getting getting all the information that she needs and she talking to the players that she needs to talk to she's doing things the right way man when it get, comes to hustling like rock is the one uh was Kanan wrong in the theater dog he was wrong he was wrong in the motherfucker dog like he on the date he kissing and stuff man but he trying to he trying to go to third base he trying to round home plate and stuff and she ain't ready for that and you you we've all been young before especially older cats like in the 90s and stuff like that the 80s 90s and stuff you try to push a limit probably maybe nowadays too but like it's like the older you get man motherfuckers look they ain't interested to look. no is no look they ain't ain't none of that oh come on come on girl come on no no okay i gotta go like ain't none of that but uh canaan is doing this he, he on some bullshit he, then he's I'm trying to think about what movie. He, he doing like Hollywood on the uh, Love Jones. Walk, walk, then walk. He like, you know, you could, you could, you know how to use the train. You can go. I'm going to finish watching the rest of the movie. At that point, I'm thinking, man, maybe something's going to happen to Aisha whenever she left or something. Because Jukebox changes. We've seen how Jukebox died and how her life changed. 
and she wasn't the same jukebox. So I'm trying to think of what's going to happen. I'm thinking it's going to have something to do with her daddy, man. I think Marvin is going to get killed at some point, and that's going to be the, the thing that, that really breaks Juke and really changes her for uh for the worse. Because Juke is a, is a good person at this time, man. <sighs> Fucked up thing with Lou. Like last episode, he went tell Scrap Mama and stuff. He didn't even realize he did it. Like he like subconsciously made his way to this woman's house and was drunk, drunkly made it there and blacked out and told, spilled his heart out. Like, damn, nigga. I think you might want to quit drinking when you didn't you didn't drove somewhere, you didn't went to some woman, spilled your heart out, did everything, drove back to your house, went bed to bed, and did all this and that, went on with your days and your life, and don't remember shit. Nigga, it's time to put that bottle down. Like, he's a risk to everybody. At this point, whenever something like that happens, loot needs to be taken off the map, to be honest. Like, he is a risk for everybody. If you can black out and snitch like that, what what's to say that you won't go to the police station next time or something, man? Like, Ronnie fucking with the plug, and he kicked Pernessa out of her own, own house, but back to him fucking with the plug. Like, this is, like, one of the driest potential sex scenes I've ever seen. So she kissing on him. I want you to make me feel good. I'll make you feel good. And he's just like, I'm like, man, what is wrong with Riley, dog? Like, I'm glad we ain't had no sex scene with him, man. How that would have been? <laughs> like this nigga right here. Riley is Michael Myers incarnated. The black Michael Myers and stuff. Like, he is, he is fucked up. Uh, Rock is back investigating the restaurants and stuff, man. Like, she's looking at how they... they Haul in these supplies and stuff. That's gonna be how she gonna gonna do her thing. She gonna act like she bringing supplies in. That's how she gonna bring the dope to the different uh, locations and whatnot. That's how she's gonna uh sup sup for. I'm trying to think of big words and stuff. How she's going to bypass the police and everything. Like she's she always on her shit. Howard got the job, so he's going to be the the inside man in the situation. Uh, Burke's father was at the place and Howard is smiling up in his face and if you need anything or whatever. Yeah, I think uh at some point they're gonna cross paths again. It ain't gonna be good. Candid is talking crazy to Juke. Juke goes and talks about how he did Aisha and stuff, man. And like he talking crazy to her and she like, I know you. I wiped your nose. You still just a scared little boy that's trying to prove to his mama that he's a man. And she ain't lying. Like Kanan, he you you he wants to be this hard dude. He is changing, but he's still he's not who he wants to be, who he think he is. Not yet at least. Like right now, he's still kind of fronting. But Juke knows that. And then Ronnie is like, I can I can talk to her. You ain't never gonna talk to my people. That's my family. So that's some that's at least some G shit that Kanan does in that extent. Like he loves him some juke. And that's fucked up that he's the one that ends up killing Juke. But that's not a spoiler or something. You've seen that way back in like Power of Season 5 or something. But uh, Burke, like I said, I think they're going to cross paths again. He met up with Burke's, uh, Burke's father, met up with the girlfriend. And she's like, I don't want to get into it. She was obsessed with Howard, but I don't want to go anywhere near Howard. I think at some point, man, like the spider sense is going to go off. He's going to be like, Something up with Howard, man. And he's gonna he gonna bring some pressure to Howard, man. And that's gonna be some shit. Especially like about around the finale or something, just to bring some extra drama to the show. I can see that happening. Uh Ronnie, Ronnie is torturing Pernessa at this this uh juncture. Like she's to the mama house. He didn't he didn't follow that. Oh, that's where your mama stayed. Yeah, and I don't want nothing to happen to you. Like down there. And yeah, your son, you all he got now. And he's threatening her on the cool. Like, not even on the cool, like, like, uh, on the hot. <laughs> that was corny. I, I, there's, but anyways, anyways, Lou and, Lou and Rock Mama, like, we see how they end up fucked up. 
yeah, they they fucked up because they mama fucked up. She just go, yo, yo sister, yo sister, uh, her money tied up. She ain't been breaking me off. You gotta get me yo some money and yo daddy and this like she is. She ain't shit. So we kind of see where I lose. It, it, I guess it affected everybody. Everybody got they fucked up things in the family. But Lou is like really going through it right now. Uh, Crystal, throw that coochie at uh, Kanan, man. Like she called him. He goes to the apartment and stuff. And she's not like Aisha. Like she's like upfront about it. And whenever he gets there, she, they don't have no scene or anything. But it's it's uh insinuated that something went down. So that's going to be some more drama with Butter, of course. At the end of the episode, man, Lou has to go and fix his shit. So he goes to Scrap Mama. He, he kills the lady. But the crazy thing, because he, he shot and she fell through the table and stuff. He killed her. Then they had another shot. I'm like, oh, Lou didn't kill himself in the, in the girl house. But he walks out of there and stuff. He sees uh, Scrap in the window, sees the ghost. I don't know why he shot twice. But I shook, I could have swore he, that would have been the only thing to make sense. Like, he killed himself or whatever. And, yeah, he was. And you would have thought that he might have, like, ransacked the place or, any, or something like that. Made it look like a robbery or something. He just shot her assassin style and walked out. He had to do what he had to do. But he wouldn't have had to do that if his drunk ass never showed up to that woman spot, dog. So that's toe up. But anyways, next episode, Rock is trying to save Kanan. Ronnie is telling uh, Kanan, you don't have to listen to her. You ain't got to worry about her or something. So it's kind of like, yo, I I'll kill your mama for you if you want. It's, it's, it's about to heat up, man. It's looking like some, like some shit. But anyways, man, like, I uh, like to do these videos. I, sometimes I'd be like, why am I just talking about the episode or something? But sometimes, I, I don't know about y'all, but sometimes like when I watch a show or something, I'd be like, man, I wish I had somebody to talk to about this. So this is just like my way of like speaking. And for any of y'all that have that same thought about, man, I wish I would like, like I wish I could talk to somebody about this. <laughs> like I'm speaking to you. So hit me up in the comment section, man. Let's chop it up about the episode and whatnot, man. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I done stuttered a, a little bit, be trying to get my words out, be getting my thoughts out and stuff, man, be hesitating and stuff. But y'all know that it's raw, uncut, unfiltered. Like, comment, subscribe. Gonna be great. Some most hated, man. Holla at your boy. Peace.